Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. I'm your host, Tammy Trier, and today is episode number 212. Today's episode is a little different than normal. I actually recorded it in February, and it was scheduled to be played, and then the coronavirus set in, and I started revamping things. However, the message is very pertinent for our times right now, and I think you guys will gain from it. So I thought I would include it in this series as we talk about going through hard times. As as you listen to this, you're hearing noise in the background. That's progress. That was opportunity and God's blessings. As you heard in the last episode, um, we were blessed to have sold our home on Good Friday. And uh, for those of you that have been following us through our 10-year uh, off-grid journey, you also have been following us through the last four years of our um, unfortunate walk through financial struggles as a result of my, my health issues. And that is what today's message is about. It's uh, God's timing versus our timing. And living in a world of instant gratification And I want to add something else to that aspect of things is learning to find opportunities while you wait and while while you walk through the hard times and also to be sure that you see the blessings through the process. I'm just going to spin this a little bit. For those of you on YouTube, you can see the beautiful view that will be from my front porch. And as I spin this the opposite direction, you will see the location of my future home and the driveway being put into place. For those of you listening on the podcast apps, you can uh, follow Mountain Woman Radio also on our YouTube channel at Treyer Wilderness. And for those of you that are new to Mountain Woman Radio, My family and I embarked on an off-grid journey in 2010, and in 2016, I had life-saving surgery. And we've been walking out a very rough financial time, which, um, looking at things, is very similar to the time that we're all walking out right now. So we're very well-versed in in walking through the hard times. It was a four-year journey. But God has blessed us greatly. And over those four years, we've been praying for God to deliver us from our financial struggle and to help us to find the perfect person to purchase our home. And, you know, this is all about God's timing. It's on a different topic today. But God does provide. And and you will hear me say in the, the video or the podcast or video that you're going to watch in a few minutes or listen to, about me talking about God's timing being absolutely perfect. And I said that in that video, not um, experiencing the sale of our home and still walking out our our journey, but knowing that that promise was true because of the things that we've experienced already. And now knowing what you know and seeing God's blessing as we start rebuilding our new home on on our new location, just how awesome God's promises really, really are. So listen in to my previously recorded show and, and enjoy the truth. And, and we will continue on this journey of how to make it through the hard times and how perspective and gratitude plays a role. Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. And I am your host, Tammy Treyer. My family and I educate utilizing Mountain Woman Radio as well as TreyerWilderness.com. We embarked on an off-grid journey about a decade ago, and we enjoy sharing our faith-led, traditional, homesteading, off-grid lifestyle with the rest of the world, hoping to inspire you all to embrace your dreams and enjoy life while we're on this planet. So... I decided to jump on here. I am sitting outside. It is actually, we've had a cold snap. It's been like 15 and 13 degrees in the morning and it's pretty crisp right now. I have a fire going in my chimney and I'm sitting out here on my swing along with my big fuzzy cat 
And I felt the need to share this with you guys today. Due to some of the happenings in our lives recently and even today, I feel it's really important to talk about our timing versus God's timing. And that kind of leads into our desires over God's will for our lives. And this applies to homesteaders, off-gridders, and anybody living life on this planet. We have a tendency to want everything now. Everything in society today is at our fingertips and accessible, and um, that's what everybody's looking for. And we also have that good old throwaway society. And I feel that these things have led us to a place of constant disappointment and um, a rushed pace and high expectations. And we forget that that slower pace and God's timing is better than anything we could manifest ourselves. And the reason I say that is this, because how many of you have been out there walking in life and you have a desire and you constantly are disappointed because what you are wanting in your life is not happening and not happening now. I think we can all raise our hand to that and all say that we have experienced that. But something that I have greatly learned over the last four years here is that God's timing is better than anything we could have ever imagined. And, you know, we feel often that he is not present in our lives and he's not there because he's not responding to, you know, you're not seeing action. You're not seeing things happening. But he is doing a million things in the background and he is lining things up. And I've used the term over the last couple of podcasts that he is going to knock your socks off. And he does. He truly does because he lines things up in such a way that when everything unfolds and all the doors open, it is just breathtaking and awing. And you know, sometimes the mountain boy experienced something today. And this is kind of what prompted uh, this message today. He's been working extremely hard with one goal in mind and things have just not been lining up. And despite his greatest efforts, things didn't line up today. And I'm watching from the outside looking in and I am seeing God lining things up and redirecting him. And, you know, if you look at all of our greatest inventors in time, They've failed a million times to the one time that they succeeded. But the difference between the average person and these people is that they didn't give up and they kept persevering and they kept pushing forward and they kept working toward their goals and their dreams. But it was a result of and through a lot of changes in life a lot of redirecting, and their failures are what led them to success and to succeed. And that is exactly what happened to the mountain boy today. God totally utilized what he felt as a failure to redirect him to success. And that is God's perfect timing. That is God's plan. And we've got to be willing to stick it out and persevere and be willing to accept change in our lives in order for us to succeed and to walk out his will. And it's, it's really an awesome thing. That's how I view it. That's how I feel about it. You know, there have been so many experiences here on the homestead in our building and in our creation of the homestead that it could have been really easy for us to just throw up our hands, throw in the towel and give up. But that is not our nature. Our nature is to fight through with gritted teeth and just keep moving forward. And that is why 
my Facebook Live theme this year is Faithfully Forward. Because if you're going backwards or you're looking back, you're in a stagnant place. If you are standing still and not moving forward, you are in a stagnant place. If you want to succeed in life, in your homesteading ventures, in your off-girding ventures, in anything you are embarking on, you've got to keep moving forward. And sometimes that means accepting change and accepting, unfortunately, things different than what you had initially planned. It doesn't mean that you won't reach success with your dream and your goal. It just means you might need to go around the mountain instead of over the mountain or zigzag up it. Constant change is what we experience in life. And how we accept that change, how we progress, what we embark on in life is dependent on us being willing to change, persevere, and keep moving forward. So how many of you are stuck right now? Or how many of you are walking out something that you hoped had gone very differently? You know, all those inventors that made our lives what they are today never gave up. And the difference between them and other people is that the other people most likely gave up right before that big explosion of success and that big miracle. And sometimes, you know, we do grow weary. That's our human nature and our flesh talking there. And you know what? One thing that most people today don't put into the equation and don't allow in their lives is rest and renewal. And they all kind of go hand in, they don't kind of, they all go hand in hand. You know, in order to succeed, sometimes you need to step back. Sometimes you need to take that defeat and adjust to the change that was just given to you and rest in it, renew your body, renew your soul, renew your spirit and keep going forward. So the thing and the challenge for many is that resting place, finding it, accepting it, even allowing it. And the other is learning to take baby steps. So often we want to just grab the bull by the horns and go rushing in. And sometimes it just requires us to take one step at a time every day to reach that goal. And then there's other people who are afraid to take that first step out of fear, out of the fear of stepping out of their comfort zone and are unwilling to push forward and take that first step out of fear of failure, out of fear of the unknown. So baby steps are really important for all of us to be able to reach our goals, embrace our dreams, even inspire others. You know, it took baby steps for me to be able to accept being flat on my back four years ago for almost a year. I was really struggling with it for the very beginning of that time. I was very angry, I believe, and I was also um, saying really ugly things to myself that I was unworthy and, and useless. And, you know, that was a lie. That was a lie from the enemy. But once I embraced being there, God utilized me there and enabled me to inspire others from being flat on my back. And now here I sit after just bringing in a load of firewood and exercising for the day and being out taking my dogs for a walk and sitting in front of a computer screen all day working. I couldn't do any of those things four years ago. And had I accepted that, I'd still be there. There's no way I'm going to stay flat on my back. And I hope and pray for you that you choose not to stay flat on your back or in a stagnant place. Accept change in your life. Accept setbacks. But realize that God's timing and God's will for our lives is going to be much better than we could have ever planned or expected. And... Sometimes you're going to have those days of great stress and great frustration. Find things that give you peace and joy. I didn't need to find peace and joy today. I have them, but I'm sitting out here with my favorite warm beverage, and I am sitting in front of a fire with a beautiful view and talking to you. So don't give up. 
understand good dynamics in life. And that is always moving forward, accepting change, accepting failure and realizing that failure isn't failure. It's a stepping stone. It's a stepping stone to your success if you're willing to allow it. And everything you do in life builds the character and builds who you are and who you're meant to be. So utilize every stepping stone and, and be excited about it because it's taking you and building you, it's taking you to great places and it's building you into an amazing person. So it's all perspective. Do I not say that all the time? And, and don't be discouraged. If you were walking through a tough time, you, you were disappointed as the mountain boy was today. After a short moment of talking to him, he was no longer stressed and he was no longer disappointed. He's, he's learned to roll with the punches too. But like I said, we all experience weariness, setbacks, and emotions. They're all human nature but soar, soar like an eagle. Keep your wings spread, keep moving forward and make things happen in your life. And the only way to do that is with action and keep looking forward, guys. Keep looking forward. You're gonna see some amazing miracles <laughs> happening in our lives. And I am so excited that we've been transparent, as transparent as we've been, that you get to see them and you get to experience them with us. And I hope you get to grow with us because these last four years especially have been some major, major <laughs> growth years for us. And I'm just so grateful to have you all joining us, to have you all following us. And you know, when I do my live videos and I share things or you guys correspond in a result of something I've shared, it's amazing to get to know you all and hear the things that you guys are experiencing in your lives too. I know we're not the only ones walking out a tough walk, but I also know that we are experiencing great miracles and great and amazing things through this negative time. And I hope you're realizing that. And I hope that you too are experiencing them in your walk. So guys, thanks for joining me again for another Mountain Woman Radio. Give us a thumbs up, a like, a review, depending on what um, platform you are watching this or listening to it on. And just thank you so much. Share it and, and grow. Grow in your walk. Grow in, in your life. Life is meant to be lived now, not later. And it's supposed to be enjoyed. So make sure you're enjoying your life. All right, guys, take care. I'll talk to you on the next one. God bless. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. And I encourage you to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, leave a review on iTunes. All of those things help us to reach more people just like you. And we want to get the message out. You know, uh, as you hear me say every week, the importance of God being first. And, and how we educate on our faith-led preparedness, homesteading, off-grid lifestyle. There is much truth in what we share and you see us walking it out and living it out. And it's just amazing. And we wanna be able to share that with the world right now in these unfortunate and for many troubled times. But even through the troubles, there's great blessings, there's great opportunities. And I hope that right now you are seeking them and seeing them and being um, encouraged by them because there's, there is good through the chaos. So guys, thanks for joining today. You know guys, God's perfect timing is just that. And you know, we prayed for the last four years for God to deliver us from our financial circumstances and to help us to find the perfect buyer for our home. And we could not have had our prayers answered in a more amazing way. But you know, we didn't get discouraged. We didn't get upset when in the first year our prayers weren't answered or the second year or the third year. And now look what God has done. God's perfect timing. It just awes me that our house has sold in the most inopportune time in our nation with the coronavirus and COVID-19 going on right now, the economy being what it is and 
just everything going on. And God blessed us during this time and has delivered us at this time. And it's just amazing. So don't ever doubt God's timing because it will always be better than our own timing and our own need for instant gratification. And when we walk out these things, God uses these times to help us grow, to improve our walk with Him, and also to help others that are watching to be an encouragement and an inspiration to them to hang on and maybe build their faith muscles too. So don't ever be discouraged by God's timing because I promise you, and I've walked it out in so many different ways, his timing is amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. We look forward to having you join us on the next one. You guys take care, and God bless.